What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a ton of coins from bronze packs on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. So if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. So there are two methods to this. Today I'm go going to be showing you the first one, and then in the next video, maybe the one after that, I will be showing you the second method. So make sure to drop a like to see that. So first I'm going to show you my transfer list. I've just been opening a bunch of bronze packs. I just want to show you guys this stuff does sell and it does work. So we got 5,600 there, 1,000 coin player there. I just wanted to show you all the stuff that has sold. And I made about 15k from bronze packs doing this. So it's just easy profit. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys what you sell, what you hold on to, and what to kind of do with the cards for this first method. And as you can see, there is still tons of stuff selling. So we're going to jump into some bronze packs. But first, I want to show you guys the leagues you need to be looking for. So leagues you're going to be selling. So if I go to leagues here, Premier League is the first one. Second one is the, uh, the EFL Championship, the second English league. Third is the French League, League 1. Fourth, Serie A. Fifth, Bundesliga. Sixth, La Liga. So there's six leagues right there. Chinese League is seven. Eredivisie is eight. Where are we at here? Liga Nos is 9, Saudi League is 10, MLS 11, and then Turkish League 12. There are 12 League SPCs, and these are the bronze cards you're going to be looking for in these packs. And also as a side note, um, Ireland Shamrock Rovers players, or just any high-rated bronze, like 62-63 from the Irish League is a good one from Ireland or Northern Ireland also works. So we're going to jump into some bronze pack and just kind of show you guys what you need to be doing to make the most out of these packs. So, and this is the first method, there is another way to do this, so don't be throwing comments around that I'm doing it wrong. There is another way and I'll be showing that in the next video. But, first of all to start off, so this is our pack, we're going to flick the right stick to check the leagues, so we don't have any of those leagues we talked about. So basically everything that you just saw, kits, anything like that, discard. Squad fitnesses I always list up for 950 a thousand, and then send all the players you're not using into your club and just leave them there. Now a lot of the value from these packs comes from the players that you're sending into your club because they'll be valuable at later dates and their prices will go up a ton because a lot of people don't have them in their club. They'll just like quick sell them or whatever, but you're going to have it in your club so you're going to make a ton of coins from those players. Now here we have an Italian league player. 950 is his cheapest. Yep, 950 is his cheapest. I'm gonna list him 850, 650 bid. So that pays for two packs right there. We have an MLS player. Um, obviously there are a lot up for 200, but he will sell for 200. It may take like one relist. Non-rare contracts, kits, and then the staff members, all quick sales, and then the other league players just send into your club. So basically, it's just knowing what to sell and doing this in the most efficient method. And the biggest part of this is continuously relisting your items because that's what it's going to take a lot of, is relisting your items, getting them to sell. Uh, this guy, got him yesterday. I know he sells for a decent amount. Yep. So he'll go for about 900 from the Turkish League, another one of the league SBCs. Um, Irish League will check him. I usually check the Irish League players just because of the new advanced SBC but they don't usually go for much unless shamrock rovers always sell and then just other high rated ones and then i believe there's some rare irish players that do actually go for a lot okay so next pack here we go flick the right stick over oh we get an mls goalkeeper he'll probably be 200 400 300 yeah he'll be an easy 200 he'll sell first listing and then Chinese League, another 200, so there's that pack again, 400 coins. And this is basically just a really good way to make coins while club stocking, because if you were just like these other players that aren't from the League SBCs, if you were just buying them for 150 a card and putting them in your club, for three players it would be 450, but in each bronze pack you get at least three players from it. So you are uh, doing it much cheaper. Here's a big thing, fitness cards. These individual fitness ones, we list them all up for 155,000. You don't want to put the buy now price to 200 because if you put it 155,000, a lot of times people will be mass buying them on like the companion app or the web app and they'll accidentally purchase them for two, 
for the buy now, which is 5,000 coins. I've had that happen at least 20 times where someone's bought an individual fitness card for 5,000 coins on accident. And it is amazing. It's just another quick, easy tip to get you a ton of coins. It's just really easy. A lot of people don't know about it. So we're going to keep popping open these packs. And the fitness, those individual ones, they do take a lot of relistings, but they do sell, and especially sometimes for the 5,000. So we can air to Vizzy player, list him up for 200, discard all of this. The Gold Keeper attributes, even the All Attributes ones, do not sell. The only attribute cards that sell from Bronze Packs are the plus 5 pace ones, and then the All Attribute Outfield Player ones. Those do sell. The pace ones usually go 200. I think the attri All Attribute ones might actually sell for like 350, 400. I forget. Oh, here we get a Paderborn player. I don't know if the goalkeeper's... Okay, the goalkeeper's not expensive. Paderborn's a very expensive club in the Bundesliga. Their silver center backs are all like 14, 15k, since they up the price range. We get a Premier League player. Sorry, Dude. I don't have any information oh, about that. That scared me so much. <laughs> a little entertainment for you guys. I literally jumped when that happened. That was terrifying. Oh, almost discarded that pace one. So fitness card goes 155,000. Pace card goes 15200. And then other guy we just send to the club. So as I was saying, a lot of this value comes from these players you're sending to the club because EA will release marquee matchups or just other SBCs where you can use these bronze players and you can just sell these guys on for extortionate amounts because a lot of people don't have them in their clubs. Also, all these black cards, always check them. They can be going for good amounts. As you can see, this guy's going to be like 1,600 coins right there. That's four bronze backs we just paid for with one player. And then we also have a Chinese League player here. There's a lot of them on the market, but eventually he'll go for 200. Fitness card goes 155,000. And then discard. I also keep uh, usually rare contracts and rare manager contracts. I send those to the club as well because they can, you can actually use them on their pl on your players. They're not as bad as applying the plus one contracts. Those are really annoying. But yeah, it's just a really easy way to make coins here. We'll do a couple more packs. Um, another suit player here. He'll go for 200, so you might as well just list him up. Um, and then nothing there. We get three fitness cards here which is going to be very easy profit from this pack. Boom, boom, boom. Very easy coins here. Another, and it's only 400 coins a pack, and you want to have a decent amount of coins when you're doing this, because you are going to have to open a lot of packs to make your profit over time and send a lot of players into your club. Um, I also check all the high-rated rares just to see if they sell. Discard all this junk. Boom, boom, boom. Get open another pack. Now, a lot of people, they just, like, don't believe in bronze pack method, which is shocking to me, because if you just spend, like, 30k on it, you're gonna make, like, 20k profit. Alright, guys, we had a weird breakup in the recording there, but I'm going to continue to open some bronze packs, and then I'm gonna come back to you after a ton of stuff is sold and just kind of show you around, like, what's sold, what hasn't, how many coins we've made. Alright guys, we are back, and as you can see, a ton of things have sold here. I'm just going to flip through all of it real quick. We didn't really pack any huge players, but we got just a bunch of players that sell, a bunch of squad fitnesses went. And as you can see, we also have a ton of things still selling, and we have already made a couple thousand coins profit, so this was really good. And then, on top of all this, I still have like 400 fitness cards in the club. And then a ton of bronze players that have been stored and can be sold later so as you can see this is very profitable we have 415 of these we'll list one up there to fill the transfer list so that's gonna be it for this video as you can see we made tons of coins off bronze pack method by listing everything up storing the rest of the players in the club so if you enjoyed this make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching